everybody. It's Michelle Lavore and Devin Lavore coming, coming at you. And we're so glad that you're here. Today we are going to be going over Genesis chapter 1 verse 20. Day 5. <laughs> yes. But it's technically for us in this process day 20. Yeah. But we're going to be talking <laughs> about um, getting into day 5 of creation. Yeah. So be very good. Very cool stuff. And um, But before we begin, we would like to just give a huge thank you to everyone who continues to give to us. Um, it's so appreciated, and we can't do this without you. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> and um, also, we are support-based, so if you would like to give to us, you can. We have a PayPal link below, and you can just click it. Yeah. Oh, so you want me, is that, is that, was that the handoff? Yeah. Is that what that was? That silent moment? <laughs> And the head turn. <laughs> of course, the proverbial. <laughs> Your turn. That's, see, that's the best thing. That, that's the handoff off right there. Come on, be a little more professional, Dev. <laughs> no, so so this was really cool. So this was uh, this was really awesome because you know the Lord has been speaking about you know completion is you know and and and, and preparations done it's like well what am i going to do after that well i'm going to go back to the earth now mm -hmm. and fill it with life and acts you know after the four gospels are done then came the acts what happened after jesus ascended the acts and the first act hmm the first act uh the lord told me this a long time ago he said the first act is mine meaning his and his alone you know, the first act that happened uh, for Joshua's generation when they crossed the Jordan into the promised land, he said, the first act is mine. And that was Jericho. Mm -hmm. He was like, you can just take a walk. Mm -hmm. Do it the amount of times I want because there's a prophetic symbolism I'm etching into the earth with your, with your very footprints. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's like Jesus ascends and he's like, and the father's like, okay, this first act is mine. And what was that first act? That first act was to deliver what the Father promised, mm -hmm. to deliver exactly what Jesus promised, you know? And that's kind of like on our, our previous video, that's kind of what we were touching on if we didn't necessarily touch on it completely. But it's just like that, everything is complete. Now is the time for the promise and the desire to be fulfilled and go into the life of that fulfillment. Mm -hmm. It's not just this one isolated ceremonial moment. It's all the life that comes from getting the promise and the desire fulfilled. Mm -hmm. You know, kind of makes me want to insert that moment right into our video, but it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> it's inserted yeah, now. now. <laughs> An addendum after the addendum. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, and so this is exactly what God's doing in this restoration uh, syllabus process thing. He's unwrapping. doing unwrapping. There you go. In this uh, uh, verse twenty. So let's read it, shall we? It says, and God said, "Let the waters bring forth abundantly and swarm with living creatures." Mm. I really want to go ahead of myself, but I will not. And let birds fly over the earth in the open expanse of the heavens. Now, in previous, uh, did you want to say anything on that? No. No. Okay. In the previous uh, videos we've done, we've already established that the waters represent the past, and the earth and the land represents the future. That was a cool day. I had so much fun that morning. But um, and so the waters are the past. So I'm just going to read from my notes here, okay? <laughs> let the past, let the past bring forth abundant swarming life. Meaning, let the visions and dreams that you have been holding on to forever mm -hmm. <laughs> come to life and produce abundantly on the earth. Remembering that earth represents the future. Mm -hmm. The success you will have with a vision born at the right time will swarm upon the earth, reaching many people for the glory of God. So, in a sense, this is much like the animals released from Noah's Ark. They went forth and produced abundantly on the earth. 
And, you know, there was a time there, we've made a couple videos about mm -hmm. it or something, it's Genesis 8, 17, yeah. and the Lord was, he just had us in a time of just dreaming and vision and all that, bring stuff up, and, it's, and it was only like, I don't know, the eighth or ninth hundredth time that the <laughs> Lord had done that, yeah. right? And we're like, Lord, are we ever going to get to do this stuff? Why do you keep bringing it up? Because it's just, it's like kneading the dough. You just keep yeah. on kneading it in there and getting it in there. And, and he was just, when we were here in what we call the delivery room, um, you know, he just brought all that stuff up again. And it was just, and we had, go, I think we went further with it than we'd ever yeah. gone before. And it was just like, whoa. And we, so we drew all the, we had all the kids get involved mm -hmm. and we drew all these animals. animals. And each you want to tell one, the yeah, story? Yeah, each one kind of, it represented um, just a piece of what God has put upon our hearts to for the future for the future like yeah. going after and so I think we ended up with just like 14 or 15 different yeah. animals and it was just a really fun thing cool. that the Lord did but it was all representing like vision and dreams. yeah because so yeah. we've talked about how as we've been in these arcs uh in our the arc of our life the Lord has just packed us full with mm -hmm. with just what he has desired for us and it was actually uh, much of it is what was on our hearts before we even went into the ark so it was it was like the lord's like here take these things with you and i'm just going to really mm -hmm. just i'm i'm literally you're going to be surrounded by it but literally it's like it's all the things that the lord has asked us he was like i want you to lay these down but then at the same time he was really starting to put vision and put dreams and yeah. and really kind of grow those things in our heart so that when we He's come fill in the boat that yeah, we're in so that know? when we come out of the ark it's like they are they're released like the animals where they were released and god blessed them and so it's like all of these areas that the lord has has just put upon us um you know for example like the writing mm -hmm. and um, we have music and so many other areas um, that the Lord is just like, hey, I want you to pursue in these directions. Mm -hmm. But it's like that moment we're just waiting to be able to be released into it. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like what you said there. You're like, yes, just take these things with you onto the ark. I can just imagine me and Noah. It's like, man, you're a little, you know, you go up to this elephant and just like, you was a baby when you got up here. You about ready to sink the boat now. You're so big. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> It's been like, a year. It's they like all grew. You, you need more space. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, Lord, what are you doing? <laughs> Looking at my wrist. There's no watch here. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Well, just like we said here previously, you know, this is we, dreams we've been holding on to forever. Like Abraham, you know, when the Lord said, hey, I'm here, buddy. I'm, I'm ready to fulfill the, uh, the dream. You know, by this time next year, you'll be holding it in your hand. He had been holding it in his heart for 24 years at that point. Mm -hmm. 24, the number of priesthood, the door to the priesthood. Anyway, mm -hmm. so <laughs> there comes a time when uh, you just, th these things have to be released. You can prophesy about the Messiah before you kick Adam and Eve out of the garden. It doesn't matter if it's 4,000 years later. Mm -hmm. The Messiah does have to show up at some point. Mm -hmm. The second coming of Jesus, it does have to happen at some point. Mm -hmm. You know? And so, anyway, so I hope that explains enough, right? <laughs> so, like the animals released from the ark, um, they went forth and produced abundantly on the earth like creatures that live in the water and cannot survive on land these visions and dreams will always have their root in the past like history and testimonies of god right even though god foretold of things from the future the dreams and visions come from something spoken to your heart long ago mm -hmm. and so that's pretty much what that is those uh you know, the waters bringing forth abundantly and swarming with living creatures. That's about your vision and your dream. Mm -hmm. You know, and even though you've held on to it for 10, 20, 30, 40 years, who knows how long. Um, event, eventually, there comes a point where God's like, let's do this. And and, and we, we really are believing that God is speaking prophetically here about what he's getting ready to do. Mm -hmm. You know, and maybe that's part of the pain of the weight. It's just like, well, I've heard the... About God's about ready to do so many times and all that. Well, it, you know, it, it, it's between you and the Lord where you're at, 
what's resonating with you, what he's doing with you, Mm -hmm. but you've got to know what God's doing with you in the season that you're in. You know, who knows? Who knows how things will pan out in the world we're living in and and who knows how long these videos that we're even doing will be available and if you're watching it when you're watching it where you're watching it where in your life you're watching it but if it's resonating with you and it's hitting you it's hitting you for a reason and you need to take it to the lord be like wow lord why do you have this particular video in my face Mm -hmm. like what's going on what are you speaking to me you know and let the lord decide you know what he's doing but right now we just feel like the lord's saying this is what i'm about to do Mm-hmm. Okay, and this is, uh, what is this, June 2021. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the Lord's like, this is what's coming. Mm-hmm. So um, now as far as the birds, let's talk about the birds. Uh, the birds flying over the earth represents your life in the spirit as you go about testifying of Jesus and the Father's goodness, openly declaring in different formats and in different ways what God has done and is doing in the earth. Long story short, it's basically your life in the spirit. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, it's a, a, a vision and a dream is about specific things. But who is the person that's doing that vision or that dream? Well, it's a person. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's a person who's in connection with the person. And as you go throughout life, God's going to have you doing things that really don't necessarily directly relate to that particular vision. Yeah, you know, and it's like that's what I, that's what it was meant by that one day we talked about the spice of life and mm-hmm. the variety of different things that God's going to be doing in the garden um, as we uh, enter through the door of the banquet hall into the garden. There's just it's just going to be so it's going to be a life by the Spirit, mm-hmm. basically. Um, so go ahead. Well, and I also liked that when you're going to speak. I know. Yeah, I love you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> No, but when it was uh, in the scripture, I mean, it says, let the birds fly over the earth in the open expanse of the heavens. And mm-hmm. like if the earth, re- it, it talks of the future. Mm-hmm. And so it's like in order to receive your future, you have to be receiving from the mm-hmm. spirit. Mm-hmm. And like, it's like, Lord, what are you speaking into? Where, where are you having us go mm-hmm. as we pursue these, you know, new lands that you have for us? Yeah. Yeah, because what's a bird without the wind? You know what I'm saying? you mm-hmm. got to have that's the Spirit of God telling you what's going on. and Yeah, wow. That's that wisdom and revelation. Now you're going to touch on all the elements. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yes, so, uh, so from the sky, you can look down upon earthly things and have a much clearer perspective. I was going to start from the top of the paragraph. I was like, wait, no, that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in the Spirit... You can accurately discern what is happening upon the earth. And by that same Holy Spirit, you can speak the word of God into that situation if you're led by the Spirit to do so. Ooh, I'm going to have to insert something real quick here. You know, because the scripture says our uh, our real life is hidden with God mm-hmm. in Christ. You know, that's Colossians chapter 3, verses 2 through 3. But, you know, there's been some uh, last night. You know, Michelle was watching this video about some really horrendous stuff going on in our nation and things that the government is just pushing, you know. And it's just, it's really, really, really bad. You know, of course, one group's going to say it's great and one group's going to say it's bad. It doesn't matter who's in office. There's going to be one group that says, oh, that's amazing. But just based on... You know, God's definition of awesome, the some of the things that are going on right now and are being signed into law as like, okay, this is great, let's do this, are just atrocious and terrible. And I mean, really, really bad. Things that have gone on, I mean, gosh, since the ancient of days. Mm-hmm. You know, this is nothing new because as long as there's the devil, he's going to be doing devilish things. And the more territory and land you give him, the more he's going to want Mm-hmm. You know, and so we are both of our hearts were just so super grieved by something that our government has decided to do. And Michelle was crying about it. <laughs> and I was like, OK, Lord, what do we do? You know, I'm I'm really ready to like 
go off on a Facebook post about this or something <laughs> and just be like, Argh. and I was like, well, experience dictates that that reaches nobody but the ones that already agree with you. Mm-hmm. And, uh, <laughs> and it's like, what do you say, Lord? What is our responsibility as sons and daughters, ambassadors, priests, kings, representatives of yours here on the earth? What's our responsibility for this? And right away, the Lord was like, I have people. And I knew what he was saying. He was like, I have people that are called to do what you want to do. They're called to do it. That's what they're doing. I have them in place mm-hmm. to they're, declare. They're the, like the kings and queens of that region. Right. You know, like mm-hmm. we talked about just a couple of videos ago of just yep. how the Lord has all of us in certain places mm-hmm. and that it's like, you know, and so we just need to keep doing what we do. Yes, exactly. He's like, I have people. And I was just like, okay, great. But Lord, what about us? What are we supposed to do? And the Lord right away, he was like, stay in your lane. Mm-hmm. Do what you keep doing what you're doing. It's like, if you have a football team, that person, whatever position they're in, they need to be doing what their position. If the whole football team is going crazy, getting out of position, if you stay in your position, then you're the one doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. You know, and the Lord was like, and that's how the body of Christ is built up in love. Mm -hmm. As each member is giving what they are supplied from heaven to give, the body of Christ builds itself up in love. That's Ephesians 4. Mm Mm-hmm. 12 through 16 you know <laughs> and it's just like don't get out of positions but and why do i do that because man if i'm led by my passion and my desire to go to then i'm gonna get in trouble mm-hmm. thinking i'm doing something noble and awesome and it's just it's really just passion and anger and trigger and uh, you know what i mean mm-hmm. and then i see you know what ends up happening with a lot of that stuff particularly during political cycles is you end up being part of the problem mm-hmm not part of the solution and I have been a part of the problem many times and I'm just like now nah, I'm not trying to do that anymore mm-hmm. you know it's just like you, you and some of that stuff's unavoidable some of that stuff's just part of the growth mm-hmm. process you mm-hmm. know particularly for someone like me that's passionate and mouthy you know <laughs> you're gonna go through some stuff <laughs> you know stuff you don't need to go through because you're just not that kind of person you're like wow Lord, thank you for saving me from... It's like, oh, I just want to be more like Devin. And he's like, oh, let's peel back the layers of some of the stuff Devin's gone through. Okay, never mind. I'm glad just being me. <laughs> <You know? Yeah. laughs> but anyway, and so that's what you have to do. And it's like, if... So it's like, if you're led by the Spirit to speak into the situation, God's like, I've got people in so many areas of life that I have called to speak into situations, be a light in a situation. You just got to be in your position and just do what you got to do. That is what it's, that's what it means to be that bird flying in the heavens, you know, to be connected with the Lord. Like our third born son, that's the Lord's related to him as an eagle. And it's like, he's going to have a connection with heaven and earth. Mm -hmm. And it's just, he's going to walk on this earth in a way that's like, very like like Moses, like a, a great wisdom, mm-hmm. but it also a great, uh, just a great wisdom and ability to just do amazing things. We're excited to see what that's going to be. <laughs> but um, but, but that's the life in yeah. the spirit. But so, also, anyway. I didn't know if you do want it, like the video I was watching. It was uh, Dutch sheets. Mm-hmm. Um, it was give him fifteen. Um, I think it was it's time for some honesty. That's what um, it was. And yeah. so, if you want to see that video, you can always watch that video. Want to know really, why she was crying? Yeah. Um, why you can I, always... I had both swords out. <laughs> I was ready to just chop yeah. some stuff up, and the Lord's like, "Yeah, that's right. Put those back." <laughs> so, if you want to know what the content was, you can. That's go there. true, because sometimes we're vague, and people are like, "What are you talking about?" Yeah. So it was the <laughs> Dutch sheets. Give him fifteen. I think it's called. It's time for honesty. Yeah, it's time for some honesty. Yeah. Yeah. So, there's that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so moving on with this, I guess it's kind of like a summation statement. Mm-hmm. You know, so after God prepares the earth for three days. He goes into the heavens and prepares and furnishes it all in one day. Then he turns his creative juices to the earth 
and commands life to come from that which he has already restored. See, and I think that's what the Lord did with the, the disciples. He took them, he brought them out of their culture and their religious environment, their cultural environment, what they thought and how they, this is how it's supposed to be, master. And, just, you know, the disciples were always telling that. But Lord, you know, if you want to be popular and if you want to be known, shouldn't you go up into the, he's like, listen, man, I'm being led by the spirit. So you, I'm trying to teach you this. I'm trying mm -hmm. to show you this. I will go when the spirit leads me to go. Mm -hmm. You know, he spent that whole three and a half years, uh, being an example and imparting that example to them, immersing them mm -hmm. in the language of the king and the kingdom, mm -hmm. you know? Well, and it's, and, oh, go ahead. Well, and I was just thinking about just in that example, it really was almost, if you could just see it as like the time that Jesus was with his disciples before his death and, you know, and resurrection, it was like all of that time really was like, day one two and three mm -hmm. and then i really think even just like post-resurrection that was almost as if it was like a day four Ooh, because yeah. they were experiencing a heavenly Jesus miracle in, yeah like as a heavenly being because yep. um you know he would just show up he's like hey guys i'm here <laughs> coming through you know locked doors and walls and and just like but but it was also a time of restoration, mm -hmm. um, you know, even for their hearts to completely prepare them for um, the promise from the Father, which like, was the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And so you can just kind of see it, you know, it yeah. kind of can parallel of just how like the Lord was really doing a lot of the foundational work. And then he comes and he's like, okay, I'm giving you some experience from heaven and seeing me. Um, realizing you know the truth he brought a lot of revelation during those 40 days mm -hmm. i mean just filling yeah. their hearts and yeah. um just Wisdom bringing and truth revelation. and yep. so yeah. they were ready to then receive the power of the holy spirit which again was from heaven and then it's like you really enter into day five because literally that first day, 3,000 were added to their number. Swarmed. Talk about swarms of fish, <laughs> you know, like, it, you know, it's just like yes. here, here it comes yes. and it's teeming with life. Mm -hmm. you, you see that even, you know, as From you read further in yeah. Acts and how yeah. it was just they were they were coming together. They were, yeah. you know, fellowshipping mm. with one another. And, and so mm. it just created this, this beautiful picture of just life and, and, mm -hmm. and having just the spirit of God leading. And so it's like, that's kind of what you're seeing, you know, yeah. it's like the word, like, all right, here comes here, here I come and I'm bringing forth life upon the earth. And, and to which he has already restored. Mm -hmm. See, he pulled them out to restore them back to their, to, to, to marry them, mm -hmm. to restore them. Just like, I, want, I don't want you to smell like anything that you came from. I want you to smell like me. Mm -hmm. I want you to speak the kingdom. I want you to speak as one speaking the oracles of God. You know, and it's like he did that. And so the spirit of God was the thing that came and furnished them mm -hmm. with, I mean, old life bye-bye. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? They're just, it. they were furnished with the promise that Jesus spoke to them during those last days. Mm -hmm. uh, John 13, 14, 15, 16, mm -hmm. you know? But those last, those last moments, you know? It was almost like you could say that was like their last moments of singleness. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then when the Holy Spirit came, the fire of God came, you know, and consumed their life of sacrifice. They were sacrificing by following Jesus mm -hmm. you know and people probably did think that they were weird because they thought the Messiah was weird so why wouldn't they think that their way of life was weird mm -hmm. you know and the Lord consumes so there's a lot of examples that you can mm -hmm. attach to that you mm -hmm. know but it's like it's like God turned himself back to the earth and said let it be filled mm -hmm. you know and it's like so for us the Lord has already restored our dreams and visions the only thing we need now is his commanded blessing that causes it to come forth and prosper psalm uh 44 verse 4 very very near and dear scripture in this family yes. uh, talks about um the lord is my king you know command or command victories uh for us meaning if you command it in heaven it's as good as done 
-hmm. because no no thought or word or purpose of yours can be thwarted not even death and that's what restored their faith is like wow you're everything you said jesus is true even it's like uh, we didn't see it before we didn't understand it but you standing here resurrected i mean i can touch you it's like uh, that was the thing that sealed the deal Mm -hmm. i mean any chips (laughs) any chips of uh concrete that's still attached to their culture was wiped away by his resurrection mm-hmm. you know what i mean and they were completely brand new after all of that yeah you know and that's kind of like what we're all waiting with in you know in our arcs and you know we're hidden in our caves and we're you know we're waiting for the lord to bless us in such a way that will launch us out mm-hmm. um and that's what just, we're waiting for yeah you know? and it will bring It will bring life. It will bring, there will be a very much like Ezekiel 47 when it says that the two rivers that flow through and they go into the Dead Sea and it, and it heals the sea and it brings forth life and just like an abundance. Mm -hmm. Um, And so that's really what the Lord is speaking here is just in the restored place of our life and our heart where, Mm -hmm. you know, we have favor and there's that yeah. you know we have the future and you we have, got our little picture on the yeah, wall we got, here we have a little picture set up yeah of this kind of what the lord has been talking about but um you know we have just that the lord is governing by his wisdom and his revelation and we have the angel assistance and mm-hmm. you know we have just um you know the future but also um god set up the the past with the visions and the dreams it's like all of that coming together god's like that's it's gonna just bring forth life yeah. it's gonna st- we're you're gonna see that abundance just like with with the the rivers of life that come flowing and yeah. um and so it's just gonna be it'll just be amazing to see how yeah. god is going to um, move not only in our life, but just in so many of mm-hmm. your guys' lives as well around the world, how God is going to be putting people into a place where they are going to see his goodness and his kindness. And then from that, it's just going to flow out these living waters that's going to bring life everywhere you go. Yeah. Um, it's just just like after the, you know, on the day of Pentecost, it started bringing yeah. forth life everywhere they went yeah i just feel like this whole grand tour of the garden is one great big massive prophetic word yeah of what's getting ready to happen mm-hmm. in this whole prepare to live like king's time yeah because we're coming out of the priestly we're coming out of the evening we're coming out of hiddenness or we're going into the kingly we're coming into the open we're going into the day which is what this part of this this goes on that playlist as well mm-hmm. you know into the day well what's that going to look like i'm going to show you let's mm-hmm. go through it verse by verse and i'm going to show you so that you're not surprised by anything that happens mm-hmm. you know oh and just for the, just to let you know you've already go, you've already started going through some of it Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's already started happening, mm-hmm. you know? And so these are the things that are going to take place, and you can look forward to them, and you can expect them, you know? Yeah. And it's so cool. That's why it's like a syllabus, because as you go through a class, you just know, oh, what, what's coming next? Oh, next week, that's where we uh, dissect a frog. That's the next in the syllabus. Mm-hmm. And then you come in next week, and there they are, a bunch of dead frogs <laughs> nailed to the desks. You know, it's just like, are you surprised? Nope, it was in the syllabus. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we knew it was... Oh, oh, we're going to have a big exam? People are probably oh. still grossed out by it. I but... know. I did not <laughs> But you like knew that. it was coming. You knew oh. it was coming. <laughs> so. Yeah. yeah, but, yeah. you know, or, yeah, just have a word. You know, if you have a syllabus, you yeah, you know what to expect. You know what's coming. You know, you know, it just the fullness of what Mm -hmm. what is coming and i really believe that god is just like i want you to know the fullness of what is coming yeah um because he's like i'm speaking these things ahead of time so that when you see it you will believe and um you know and i just i love it because i feel like you know when when you we entered into our night and and just kind of on this journey that we've been on for the last basically four years three and a half here in nashville but you know start of 2017 
we did not get a syllabus for that journey. <laughs> that journey was just like, all right, just follow me. This is the me. first time we've you're ever going, gotten a syllabus. You're going blind. And so <laughs> to really have the Lord kind of just say, hey, I'm, I'm showing you mm -hmm. what you're going to go into. I'm showing you what to expect mm -hmm. in, the, in the heart of it. You know, obviously we don't, the Lord's not saying like, this is, on this day, you're going to have this, and this is what's going <laughs> to... It's like, no, he's not doing that. No. Those are the surprises of the Lord, and just seeing him fulfill it. That would be a very long verse one. That would be. <laughs> that really is God's heart showing us, like, what he's going to do, and just that he wants us to know. And, and that's what happens, you know, when you come into the day, you can mm, see. Mm -hmm. uh, when you're in the night, you can't see. And then the Lord is, is just like, you know... <laughs> I've blinded you guys to certain things as you've gone through the night and and it's like but as you enter into the day as you enter into the this new time you're going to be able to see things and that you couldn't see before mm -hmm. and um, he's just going to be revealing and showing himself and I am telling you like it's been amazing to see especially mm -hmm. this month like since June 1st literally um, it's just been like the decree, God's, the manifestation of the new beginning. Yeah, it's Man. just been like, wow, Lord, you are just really unwrapping things, and you are really. I didn't know just it was going to happen right away. <laughs> I thought it was another prophetic thing, just to wait on. Yeah. Like, oh, oh, we're, oh, we're doing that now. Oh, now. Oh, oh, okay. I, am I ready? Well, well, it's like, well if you're like, not ready, uh... <laughs> <laughs> he did say beep, beep, beep. Timers going off. <laughs> The night before. And oh my so, gosh! Don't get me started. Keep so, going. Keep so going. it's just been, <laughs> you know, we're, we've entered into something new, and so God's like, I want you to see what I'm doing. I want you to be aware. I want you to know, in and to experience things in a new way. Yeah. Um, and and of course, you know, when the Lord does keep you blind to something, He has a very distinct purpose for it. Yeah. And it's a good He's reason. He's maybe training. You know, it's like training your heart to just mm -hmm. rely on Him and lean on Him and, and you know, to just follow no matter what, even if you don't know what's in front of you and you don't know where your steps are going. Yeah. And it's just like, you know, that's part of His training and, and having His, and that stripping down and mm -hmm. all of that. Um, but I just, I am so excited to just continue yeah. to hear from his heart. Yeah. Um, as we keep going, we're over halfway done um, mm -hmm. with just the creation um, story. I am seriously still not in a hurry. I'm not. I'm excited like, for literally right. every day I wake up. I'm like, what's today? Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. So. Um, yeah, that's really what we have for you guys today. Mm -hmm. Just that the, the waters, again, they represent the past, but it's just that the Lord is going to be bringing those visions and dreams um, to life. Mm -hmm. And um, they're going to be flowing abundantly. And also just that um, the birds flying over, it really just represents um, being just our just life in the spirit. Our life in the spirit. Yep. And, and when we are with the Lord flying in the spirit, then it's like we are able to see um, and have wisdom for for our future. Yeah. So and revelation. Yes. And so <laughs> um, that's what we have for you guys today. Yep. Um, pray that you are blessed and until tomorrow. For was, Act Two, Scene Eleven. Yep. We will Day Twenty One. Go ahead, we will see. And we will see you okay, later. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye-bye, guys.